So at the end of 2023, I went down to Destin, Florida for five days to hang at the beach as well as get a good block of training in. And this was the most intense block of training I had done since my time as a college distance runner. And reflecting on that trip, I want to give five tips on how to train more successfully as a division one college distance runner. Tip number one, easy days mean easy. So easy is relative to each person in each day don't stress over hitting the same exact pace on every single easy run. Based on your endurance level, find the range of an ideal pace to run and fluctuate that based on how you're feeling each day. Why should you run easy? First of all, it's giving your body and your mind a break. When you run at high intensity, you're not only putting physical stress, but mental stress on your body as well. And breaking up these efforts are going to prevent burnout as well as prevent injuries. You're also able to build volume at lower intensity. This is why a lot of people talk about running slow to run fast. You're able to put more mileage on your legs, which is going to increase your fitness in the longer run. And finally, you're going to feel fresh for the big workouts and the big races. And taking those easy days are really gonna help. A huge rule of thumb that I go by is easy run should be 80% percent of your weekly mileage. So since I run six to seven times a week, four to five of my runs should be easy effort. Easy pace is conversational pace. So I really know if I'm going easy, if I can comfortably hold a conversation with whoever I'm going on my run with. Tip number two is build a positive environment around you. I love the quote, if you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. Most people look at running and they see it as this individual sport, but you can't do this alone. You need coaches and training partners and other avenues of support to help you along this journey. So coaches and teammates are gonna play a huge part in this. And for all my middle school, high school, college, and even pro runners, you don't always get to pick that, but I found my best training and results came when the environment was positive, was challenging, but also supportive with everyone pushing towards the same goal and picking each other up on the way towards that. With these other avenues of support, this could be your family, friends, a therapist, just someone that knows you, that's gonna encourage you, that's gonna challenge you, and that's gonna keep you accountable on the way towards hitting these goals. Having these people in my life were such a huge help on my journey towards my best training as a division one runner. Halfway through the day two run, doing 70 minutes, pretty quick actually. We're about 5.4 miles in, right at 636 pace. We're ripping on some beautiful Florida back roads. I mean, Tennessee needs to step their game up and actually get some, some dirt roads. Legs couldn't ask for anything better. Tip number three, success comes from momentum and momentum is built from consistency. Now success is a word that's thrown out a lot and oftentimes there's a misconception around it. And I've talked a lot about this in my other videos, but success is the journey and not the destination. And it's defined on your own terms. When this is how I started to define success, I began to achieve it. And that started with building momentum and stacking wins. But you can't just sit back and wait for things to happen. You have to be proactive. You have to take initiative and more specifically, be consistent with the way you approach every single day. Now with training, that's doing the little things when no one's watching. That's doing the extra stretches, the extra reps, times when it's really easy to cut corners. It's showing up every single day and giving your best effort. And finally, it's being disciplined when motivation and inspiration are non-existent. Tip number four, work hard, recover harder. Hard work is necessary, recovery is a non-negotiable. The David Goggins 110% grind set is what sells, but ultimately it is not sustainable. This leads to injury, to burnout, to plateaus, and to negative results. So you might be wondering, what does recovery look like? Well, for me, it's three main things. That's sleep, nutrition, and strength. Now with sleep, this is the biggest hack to good recovery. I'm gonna make an entire other video on the impact of sleep, but for me, I shoot for eight plus hours. Going into the nutrition side, three meals a day, fueling before and after runs, and finally the strength side. And these are a lot of different little things. For me, that's mobility drills before my run, that's stretching and core right after, a consistent lifting routine, which is about two to three times a week, and that's what I did in college as well. Again, all these three things I will make separate videos about because the importance of them, but this recovery is what's going to keep you performing your highest level. Don't skip out on these things. They're very small in the moment, but stacking wins with these little things, with these recovery tools are going to make a huge impact on your overall training. Tip number five, if you aren't mentally tough, nothing else matters. The same way that you have to work out physically, you have to work out mentally. You can show up, do all the little things, 
Do all the tips I just mentioned, but if you are not mentally tough and not able to push down those mental blocks, you will not be able to maximize your time as a runner. So here's some tips for building your mental toughness. First of all, it's positive self-talk, having belief in yourself, having belief in your training, having belief in your coaches. Before you can do anything else, that is where it has to start. It's gonna be doing challenging things, pushing yourself outside your comfort zone time and time and time again. By stretching yourself in this way, you're going to be able to increase your mental capacity, your mental fortitude. That's going to help push down those mental blocks that are holding you back physically, ultimately helping you achieve that success and achieving the results that you are aiming for to maximize your time as a runner. So that's it for the video. Five tips on what helped me train successfully as a Division One runner, as well as some great clips from a super cool beach trip and great training block. I wanna thank you guys so much, hit a thousand subscribers, huge milestone for me. Comment below any other videos you want me to make, like and subscribe. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.